Well, hey and hello, how are you friends? What do you think of when you think of a lion? Maybe a large cat, a strong animal, a proud animal, a scary animal, um, one who roars very loudly. Um, maybe you think of the, the Lion King, or maybe Aslan from The Lion, The Witch in the Wardrobe, or maybe even the lion from The Wizard of Oz. And you might ask, Milt, why are you wearing a bear hat if you are talking about a lion? Milt, why are you wearing a bear hat if you're talking about lions? Well, that's a good question. The answer is because I don't have a lion's hat. <laughs> so I had to wear my bear hat. And a bear sort of reminds me of a lion, you know, powerful and strong. In the Bible, there are some stories that include lions. You know, remember David, King David, who before he became king was a shepherd. And as a shepherd boy, he claimed to have killed lions and a bear. Samson killed a lion. And we all know the story of Daniel, who spent some time in the den of lions. Now, during the early part of the Advent season, we had spent some time looking at the names and titles of Jesus. And we want to continue that. For in the Bible, Jesus is known by a variety of names and titles. And today, we're going to talk about this title. Jesus is called the Lion of Judah. Now, why is Jesus called the Lion of Judah? Well, the Lion of Judah, this phrase, has its origins in the book of Genesis, where the Israelite tribe of Judah had the lion as its symbol. Jesus was a descendant of Judah. And from that line from Judah and his tribe also included there were King David and King Solomon. They were, the, they were ancestors of Jesus. A reference to the lion of the tribe of Judah points to the conquering victorious king that would descend from Judah's lineage. And there are prophecies throughout the Old Testament that speak to this king coming from the tribe of Judah. In the Apostle John's vision, in the book of Revelation, the last book of the Bible, which speaks of future things, we see and read of this scene in Revelation 5. I saw a scroll on the right hand of the one sitting on the throne, and the scroll had writing on both sides, and it was sealed with seven seals. And I saw a mighty angel calling out in a loud voice, Who is worthy to break the seals and open the scroll? But no one in heaven or on earth or under the earth could open the scroll. No one could even look inside it. And I cried and I cried because no one was found worthy to open the scroll and look inside. But then one of the elders said to me, do not cry. The lion of the tribe of Judah has won the battle. He is from the root of David and he is able to break the seven seals and open the scroll. He was referencing Jesus. Jesus is the lion of the tribe of Judah, and he has won the battle. You know, Jesus Christ is worthy because he lived a perfect, sinless life, and he defeated sin and death. And his death and resurrection have resulted in protection for us, for his people, and an eternal kingdom to come that will honor and worship God forever. And ruling this kingdom will be Jesus, the lion of the tribe of Judah. You know, knowing that Jesus is a lion of Judah and that he will reign forever gives me hope and confidence in this one who is our deliverer. And I hope it gives you confidence as well. Revelation 11:15 says, The seventh angel blew his trumpet. There were loud voices in heaven saying, The kingdom of this world has become the kingdom of our Lord and of his Messiah, and he will rule forever and ever. You know, as the lion is a strong animal, so our God is also a strong deliverer. Jesus is the Lion of Judah, the strong ruler, the strong king. So please remember that today in all that you do. Know that you can live in confidence and you can live in joy and you can live with peace. So I wish all of that for you this day. Have a great day.